Hello, uh, good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you uh, how to use pager templates in form view control. So uh, uh, today I will show you how to use the pager templates. Uh, I mean to say that pager template is used to to navigate the uh, uh, second pages, third pages, fourth pages if you have. Uh, okay so let's check to uh, how to use the pager template in a form view control this is the simple thing uh, basically pager template is used to move uh, or you can say the navigation purpose in which we have a uh, previous and the next pages as well as the total number of pages is there uh, if you want to customize it then you can use the pager template so uh, bind the form view uh, using the sql data source control and after that we can use that pager template okay uh, in pager template uh, we have the number of page counts and uh, also use the uh, command argument previous and the next as well as uh, just after the item template you can use the pager setting and pager template inside the pager template you can add a table control in which we have a two cells in the single row first cell uh, display next as well as previous symbol so for this you can use the link buttons so add two link buttons here simply uh, use text is previous or you can use the symbol also previous command name is page and command argument is previous p r e v that is the fix value p r e v that is the fix value now uh, paste to for the next command name is here same text change to next command name same and the command argument is also next okay that's fine now in the second cell you can take uh, or you can say you can show total number of pages So the label ID is L1. Now copy this and paste to the next. Okay. Page number that is uh, represent the current page number, and the second table represent the total number of pages. That is L2. Okay, that's fine. yeah previous and next page number and total pages in the data bound method just after binding your uh, form view control it display so first of all getting the um, get the pager template uh, from the form view so form view row that is the zero page row pager row form view one dot in which we have a
so first of all uh, add a pager settings mode next previous and position is bottom okay so by using the pager setting you can get the pager template so from view one dot bottom page row so easily you can find the pager setting or you can say pager template label get the label uh, the number of page rows so pager row dot cells of zero dot find control that is L1 <coughs> the current page display by using the page number similarly for the total number of pages you can use again second label total page number and the ID is L2 ok now save it if check the um, page number is current page so first of all get the page number is not equals to null and if your page number contains 0 and null then do not move to the next pages so and total pages number is also null so do not move if not null then move to the next pages so get the second page number by using page en variable on the page en variable that is new variable so form view one dot page count sorry page index plus one total pages here we you can uh, here we use page count method form one dot form one dot form view one dot sorry page count okay uh, by using the page count you can get the total number of pages okay so page pager number dot text is equals to page en and total number of pages represent on the total pages dot text equals to total let's check to the output oops the total number of pages is system.web.ui.webcontrol label so remove this problem ah total page is not there uh, actually here is a total so remove the page and save and refresh it so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp.net shisha thank you thank you very much